The pyrolysis technology turns banana peels into raw materials for making pesticides from vinegar, tough for road construction and biochaff. The system bears a semblance with another trailblazing technology, the university unveiled, where plastic is converted into diesel. In the biopyrolysis system, banana peelings are put in a cylinder with pipe joints, which are fitted well to prevent the escape of heat and pressure. This could drive our economy to another level, which is to produce value-added products from waste material, which would be thrown at the farm. So, in other words, this doesn't touch our food. We are just using waste materials. The cylinder is then placed inside the rocket stove, which has a reactor that helps in maintaining high temperatures between 400 to 450 degrees centigrade. The cylinder containing peelings will gradually be heated using firewood for over 20 minutes. Due to high temperatures, the wet peels begin to dry up, expelling vapor, which goes through a pipe connected to a radiator similar to that of a car. The radiator is meant to cool the vapor, which turns into tar and later vinegar. We expect vapor from the biomass uh, to pass through this pipe, and we are going to have the first stage of condensation for the heavy gases here. Tar is the first to collect in the container because it is heavier than vinegar and can be processed at lower temperatures. We are collecting tar in this first container. Now tar is the typical uh, tar that we use in tar marking the roads, but we also expect to do chemical analysis to be able to know much more about this so that we can be able to, uh, to, be able to know or explain other uses. As the temperatures rise, Brownish vinegar begins collecting in the container. Uh, which vinegar could be used as a, an organic pesticide? Vinegar is it helps uh, it it aids or it helps in health because it can help in uh, weight loss. Uh, this this happens uh, because it it reduces the appetite of someone, so it reduces the amount of food that someone takes, and that eventually can help in cutting the weight. As the process goes on, there is a force pipe connected to the system which helps release unwanted flammable gases which contain hydrogen. According to experts, nothing thrown away from banana peels, including gases. We wish to work on uh, at Makerere with uh, our colleagues at the University of Kentucky is to be able to tap, to see how we can tap those gases that come off and they, we use them in drying of food crops so that we don't waste that heated air, because it's already heated. It could help us to dry cereals, dry crops, dry fish. Professor Banada told NTV that the system accommodates all organic natural materials, ranging from maize cobs, banana leaves, eucalyptus, and other plant leaves, among others. If I invested, if I invested money in correcting maize trover, maize stems, uh, cobs, and I converted them into these three products. Um, it's a good investment. The biochaff is then collected after this process. A kilo of biochaff goes for about 30,000 shillings and is imported from Europe. We take this biochar and we mix it in the crop soil. It helps to lock moisture into the soil and helps to keep nutrients in the soil, which is beneficial for farmers. But tapping uh, carbon in the atmosphere, carbon dioxide, into the soil. So it, the soil kind of cam works as a sink for carbon dioxide, which is also uh, very good for combating climate change. You start from the banana peels, then the vinegar, which is a little bit brownish, from also uh, the banana peels. And then this is vinegar from the main stove. And that tells you that every product produces a unique ingredient and of course they will undergo what is called gas chromatography in order to know the components so that the scientists can be able to identify which one is most suitable or which one produces the best of the pesticides and tar among other products. Each type of plant will have different chemicals in it, some more beneficial than others. Experts say that if this technology is adopted in Uganda, 
garbage-like banana peels, which often litter the streets, could be turned into a treasure. Sudil Biarhanga, NTV.